Melania is probably the most difficult boss in Elden Ring, but here is a relatively consistent way to easily defeat her. As usual, useful timestamps can be found in the video description. A quick note before beginning, for equipment that can be upgraded, you'll want to have it at or near max level. First, let's cover the equipment needed for this strat, starting with the main required equipment, then the optional or recommended equipment. The main pieces of equipment required for this strategy are the Mimic Tier Spirit Summons and a seal to cast incantations that primarily scales with faith, such as the God Slayer Seal or the Finger Seal. You'll also need the Erd Tree Heal Incantation and the Shabriri's Woe Talisman. The God Slayer's Greatsword is the weapon of choice because its Queen's Black Flame skill is very effective against Melania. Guides on how or where to get these various items can be found by following the links near the bottom of this video's description. That also goes for the recommended equipment. This includes the following talismans, Shard of Alexander, Dragon Crest Great Shield, Radagon Sword Seal, and Ritual Shield Talisman. You'll also want the Flames Cleanse Me incantation to remove Scarlet Rot during the second phase of Melania's fight. Now I did this strategy in New Game Plus at level 150, but I think it could be done in a first playthrough at as low of a level as 100. For the attributes, you'll need a faith of at least level 42 to cast the Erd Tree Heal incantation. You'll also want a strength of 20 and a dex of at least 22 to use the God Slayer's Greatsword. The minimum vigor I would recommend for Melania is 40, but I had a healthy vigor score of 60. Keep in mind that you'll also need a decent amount of levels invested into mind for sufficient FP to cast the healing spell multiple times. I have my mind at level 37. Finally, put enough points into endurance so that you can maintain a medium equip load, around level 20 if you're using medium light armor like me, and you'll be good to go. In case you're still not exactly sure what to do, you can always copy my allocation of attribute levels as shown on screen. Before starting the boss fight, make sure you have all flasks allocated to FP and switch one of your talismans out for the Shabriri's Woe Talisman. I switched out the Ritual Shield. Then, enter the boss room and immediately summon the Mimic Tear Spirit. Afterwards, quickly go to your equipment and remove the Shabriri's Woe, replacing it with the previously equipped talisman. This will cause your Mimic Tier to have the Shabriri's Woe Talisman, which has the effect of constantly attracting enemies' aggression. Meanwhile, you will have removed that aggro-inducing talisman from yourself. Therefore, Melania will be almost entirely focused on your Mimic rather than you, which takes a lot of the pressure off. Normally, this would result in the Mimic Tier suffering a swift demise, however, that's where the Erdtree heal comes in. It heals for massive amounts and can even heal your spirit summon when you're close enough to it. Because most of Melania's attacks are directed at a single target, it's relatively easy to stay out of harm's way while casting Urtree Heal to heal your Mimic. So that is priority number one, heal your Mimic tier while it keeps Melania busy. The second priority is to get in and hit Melania with the Black Flame skill of the God Slayer's Greatsword, followed by a second input of that skill when possible, which will deal massive damage to Melania and knock her prone. As a quick aside, I think this strategy would also be pretty good for many other bosses, but I've only ever tested it on Melania. Now, Melania will heal whenever she lands an attack, which will be on the Mimic tier most of the time. But if you're applying enough pressure with the Greatsword skill, you should be able to outpace her in damage dealt. Just make sure to switch back to healing the Mimic when it starts dropping below half HP. I ended up filling the role of healer for most of the fight and was able to reliably defeat Melania 3 out of 3 times using this strategy with very minimal skill or effort. In Phase 2, you just need to watch out for Melania's Scarlet Aeonia attack and use the Flame Cleanse Me incantation as needed to remove Scarlet Rot buildup. If anything, this phase seems to go by quicker and more easily than the first. I'll let the remainder of the fight play out and then come back with some final thoughts.
So that's it for this faith-based Melania cheese strategy and it's definitely helped me avoid a lot of frustration. As you can see by the amount of runes I earned for defeating Melania, this was in New Game Plus and I did it at level 150. I can't say if it will work reliably at New Game Plus 2 or higher, but time will tell. Hopefully this strategy works for all of you, if it does, let me know what level you were when you did it and on what playthrough of the game. If you want to see more great guides, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Friday, and a great weekend. And as always, thanks for watching.